Professor Slater has already given some important insights into reading, but I asked her to give us some specific ideas about how to teach reading. What advice do you have for teachers about teaching reading? Literacy development is a critical part of learning a language and of becoming an informed world citizen. It's more than decoding. It's understanding the vocabulary and the grammar and the patterns that are used to construct texts that fulfill a social purpose in our world. Purposes such as informing, instructing, and even entertaining. Decoding is easy. Reading isn't. It takes time to develop beyond the decoding of the ABCs. So when teaching literacy skills, make sure you involve talk in an enjoyable, fun way prior to having students read and write. This can be very effective and motivating. Also, having students keep journals about what they read, and more importantly, what they think about what they read, can play a huge role in developing literacy. Just keep in mind that in literacy development, a journal offers a conversation between the writer, who is typically the student, and the reader, the teacher. Just as you wouldn't want to correct everything a student says, it is important not to correct journals, but to respond to them as a conversation. This also models what good readers often do as they question and ponder the author's texts. Finally, make sure you offer students lots of choice of reading materials and encourage them to read, even in their first language, especially if they are journaling about these texts. As I mentioned, literacy is all about bringing one's world knowledge to the printed page. In the printed page, expand one's world knowledge. Professor Slater's advice for teachers emphasizes that we should take into account students' interests and knowledge when we choose reading materials. Each student has particular interests, and part of the process of going through education is to find and stimulate those interests. Reading is a very important part of that process of stimulating students' interests. A related piece of advice is to excite students about reading so that they feel encouraged to read. Students should enjoy reading in school, and that enjoyment should extend to outside of class as well when they start finding their own materials to read. Professor Slater advised teachers to incorporate reading activities into fun activities, especially those that include conversation. Here she's talking about linking reading to speaking, one of the ideas that was important for her when she started learning Japanese. As students engage in discussion, they should be talking about their opinions about what they read. This provides opportunities to become more interested and challenges them to think critically about what they read. You can have students keep journals about what they read. Overall, we can sum up Professor Slater's advice as follows. Take into account students' interest and knowledge in the choice of reading materials. You should try to excite students about reading so they feel encouraged to read. The more they read, the better it is for them. Incorporate reading activities into fun activities that include conversation so that you're making the link between the text and the oral language. Engage students in discussion of their own opinions about what they read so that they are critically engaged with their reading material. Also have students keep journals about what they're reading. That provides them an opportunity to let their reading affect their writing. With this background on what we're trying to do in teaching reading, we can start to look at some of the technologies that are useful in helping the process of teaching reading. There are many searching methods for seeking texts and social media sites of interest to students. These can provide them with materials that are well suited to their level and interest. Students can be taught to engage in audio, blogging, or chat to begin topics, activities to build knowledge and interest in a topic before reading, sites with good reading about the world, topics that are very interesting, and American English simplified texts are also good options. 
There are also websites for assessing the readability or the simplicity of texts. Reading groups can be formed based on common interests within the class, within language learner sites, or within fan fiction sites. Students can engage in journaling discussion about reading on blogs and forums.